Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am back today with another plant video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I really needed a mental health break. I am definitely ready to be back though. And today's video is going to be a nursery tour. Jesse and I went to a nursery in Denver called City Floral and I am gonna play those clips for you right now. I love all the orchids. I wish I could keep these kinds of lives better. You know? Just not good at it. Oh, they have the jewel orchids here. Yeah, the one I have on the coffee table. Yeah. That's the air plants. I kill those every time. Oh wow. I mean, it's huge though. <laughs> Got this philodendron. Cool. Oh, there's a spider. Oh. Hopefully that doesn't scare people. Maybe I should edit it out. <laughs> oh, they have pretty big heart friends. Black velvet, $50 here. Bunch of philodendrons. And their Birkins are 14. I had one of these and I killed it. I always feel like I should get another one. But... Trying to not buy as many plants since we're moving. <laughs> I feel like this place always has a good selection of snake plants. I don't know what kind that is, but that's cool. It's like, kind of like the moonshine looking, but not quite, I don't know. I can't identify snake plants really, so. Getting caught on things. These anthuriums are pretty. I had one from Ikea and it died sadly. Sure. 
Well, it takes a lot of work to keep it running, I would assume. I don't know what this is. I see, I keep seeing it everywhere at all the nurseries. It's really cool. I just know nothing about it. So I'm like, I don't know what kind of care it needs, you know? Otherwise I would get one. I've been trying to break the habit of buying something before I know about it and then killing it. <laughs> Look at all these begonias though. These are pretty. I like this one. I don't know like what kind it is, but it looks cool. It just says Begonia Rex, so. It's pretty. That one over there is cool too. <laughs> Oh, carry eye. How much is this? 50 bucks. 50? That's what we paid at um, Actors. Nice. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> kind of windy today. Um, they have a bunch of Hoyas. Some Puba Calyx and Renosa Compacta. I'm still waiting till like the variegated ones are more common. I've not encountered one in the wild. <laughs> Some kind of Dyskidia. Oh, it's a variegated one. It's like super light though. Oh, they have a bunch. Okay, we're getting, <laughs> we're gonna get one. Oh, this one's really healthy, I think. Is that the same? Yeah, I think those are the same as those. This one's, 30. 30. Can you hold it? <laughs> and this one. I can't turn it around. This one's 17. What do you think? Mm. Which one should we get? This one. <laughs> the bigger one? Okay. That's awesome. Oh no, look at it. Just the one. Sad. Oh, there's a string of turtles over there. Painted ones. No. Hello. 
love it. <laughs> Let's get that one. <laughs> oh, someone hit a Hoya in here. Oh, I need to look at plant pots so I can get one for my new vanilla. If I didn't already have two of Avadas, I would get another one because they're really pretty. They have so many of them here today. This is what I want our house to feel like. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This Syngonium is like trailing. That's pretty. I can't keep these alive, but they're really pretty. And there's our $28.99. Oh man. Those are so pretty. I wish Pepperomias liked me. What a shame. That's your listener. Pepperonia pots, and they have the watermelon pepperonias. These I'm actually good with, the watermelon ones. Mm -hmm. I've had one for like two years that I've actually kept alive, so I'm proud of myself for that. And I have a Rana Verde that I've kept alive also. Let me see how much there is. Oh, it's big. $18.99. It's not bad. For the size, yeah. Pepperomias are like some of my favorites, but they just don't like me. And so every Pepperomia I get, I feel like I'm going to kill it. I have one of these in water because <laughs> they're divas and they don't like me. Stop yawning. You want to get a coffee? One on the shelf. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. This ivy? Some kind of it's ivy? Like a so that one's a marble queen. These are golden. I don't know what this is. It just says foliage. It's foliage. It looks like some kind of ivy, but I don't think it is. I don't know. It's interesting. A million Hoyas. Yeah. Well, the good thing is I can just make endless babies from mine. <laughs> It's just like a random anything. From that really tiny cactus shop. But that one's cool. You almost left me so for so long I almost got another boy in it. <laughs> Left you unattended. You left me unattended. I almost got another one. I like that they're like vining because I've had mine for like three or four years now and it's barely grown. And I like that it's like tendrilling out, you know. That one. That's the one I would do it. Okay, so 
Okay, so that is everything that we ended up filming. And as you saw in the footage, I did just get one plant on this visit. And it was this beautiful variegated Dyskidia Cascade. I don't know the scientific name. Um, I do have an all green one of these. It's just a little guy that I ordered off of Etsy a couple summers ago. And I was so happy to see that they had so many full baskets of this and the non-variegated version. But this one is in a six inch pot and I paid $29.99 for this. I would have gotten more plants, honestly, but I'm kind of on a no buy right now, at least until I move. Um, Jesse and I will be moving in less than a month, so I will be doing a moving vlog and kind of giving tips on how to move uh, 300 house plants. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys are doing well. I've definitely missed you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!